first uh, bridge configuration. So we're going to look at a quarter bridge and we're going to look at a scenario like this where we have material, it's going to be placed under the following stress state sigma 1 1, 0 0, 0 0, 0 0, 0, and there's going to be some kind of resulting uh, strain that we're going to experience. So remember that epsilon j is equal to e times 1 plus nu sigma ij minus nu sigma kk times Kronecker delta here. So, uh, one quick notation. If you see a material where we have this, this tells us our strain gauge and the number in the standard configuration. So I've got a strain gauge in one, and, and everywhere else there's resistors. So if there's resistors here, those are just on my circuit. So those aren't being pulled at all. There's going to be there's going to be no change. There's no strain applied there. So if we don't have a strain gauge on our material for two, three, and four, those are automatically going to be zero, zero, zero here. So those are canceled out, as you can kind of see here. Now, if I'm pulling my material like this. I have my coordinate system. Always define that here. My strain gauge now, um, if you see a solid line, that means it's at the top of the material. If you see a dotted line here, that means it's, that means it's on the back of the material, the, uh, you know, the opposite side. Uh, again, just for kind of notation moving forward here. So let's figure out and see, you know, what type, uh, how we can kind of relate uh, stress and strain and what we're actually measuring here. So my strain gauge, two, or my strain in two, three, and four arms are all zero. Excellent. Now, what strain am I measuring with my first strain gauge? Well, my wires are aligned with what direction? The 1-1 one, one direction. So whatever direction the wires are aligned with, that's the strain it's going to measure. So my strain, my gauge 1, is going to me measure the strain in the 1-1 one, one direction. What is the strain in the 1-1 one, one direction? Well, I know that my sigma 2-2, two, two, my sigma 3-3, three, three, those are all 0. So if I just plug in here, 1 over e, 1 plus nu, sigma 1-1 one, one, minus nu sigma 1-1, one, one, those cancel here and here. So I'm left with this expression for my strain 1-1. One, one. So that's, you know, you could kind of start to see how I'm going to give problems. And we're going to go through quite a bit of them in class, how I could relate stress, uh, you know, the material constants, uh, strain, and these output voltages, and I could give a myriad of, of equations and expressions. But that is every, that's how you would do it for this first problem. So remember, see where the, uh, how many strain gauges do you have? If there's no strain gauges, you just have three resistors, so the strain is zero. And then where are those wires aligned? like in the long axis of your strain gauge. Whatever direction they're aligned with, that's the strain you're gonna measure. So we're gonna do another example, a uh, little bit more complicated stress state uh, in the next video. So, but your first one is done. Uh, so hopefully that's fairly clear. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.